Eating disorders have been a very prevalent issue in countries all across the world for several years. Eating disorders can happen to any type of person, skinny, overweight, or fit and in shape. And they occur more in girls than they do in boys. There are different aspects of a person's life that influence whether they have an eating disorder or not, such as genetic influences, eating habits, self-esteem level, and suicide attempts. Eating disorders normally start with youth girls, and that is where the solution to this problem should take place, which is in middle schools. The solution to diminishing the number of cases of girls with eating disorders is to start or continue wellness classes, physical activity promotion, and control the number of meals and snacks in middle schools. One of the main influences on whether a girl will have an eating disorder is the genetic influence. Behavioral genetic research shows that variation in eating habits and food consumption is due to genetic and environmental factors. A study was done on adolescent and young adults on whether they have healthy or unhealthy eating habits and how many meals that they have each week. Unhealthy eating habits include eating too little and not eating the right amount of meals. A girl does not have to be skinny to develop an eating disorder. Girls that are overweight are just as susceptible to developing an eating disorder as well. Eating disorders also influence suicide. Studies have shown that suicide attempts are higher in individuals with all forms of eating disorders such as anorexia and bulimia. Eating disorders are a very serious mental disorder that can cause suicide which is one of the biggest concerns of developing an eating disorder. There are concrete solutions to diminishing eating disorders in women such as starting with the adolescent stage of life. The solution to the e issue of eating disorders starts with wellness education in schools. A study was done on college students on body image, and the results from this study show that college students that were never taught how to keep their bodies healthy when they were younger did not have a positive outcome on their survey. This is why wellness education should start in middle schools so girls know how to live a healthy lifestyle and have a good body image when they grow older. Wellness education leads into physical activity and physical activity promotion, which is the next step in the solution. Physical activity and being part of a sports team is a big factor that keeps girls from developing an eating disorder. Here's a short clip on why you should stay active in your life. The most common answer to what girls enjoy most about physical activity and staying active and looking fit. Girls associated staying in shape with a healthy, strong, and a fit body and consider this to be a significant benefit of physical activity. The majority of girls like to be part of a sports team. Girls said this because they feel like they belong to a team, sports help them avoid de disease, and sports help them be proactive in their lives, and the results of this study are a very positive sign that girls want to be active and have a healthy body image, and sports teams should continue to promote themselves in schools. Removing low nutrition snacks in schools is a very important factor in decreasing eating disorders in middle school girls, and it has been a very controversial issue in schools and shows that removing these low nutrition snacks are improving the nutrition standards in schools. Studies show that schools that remove low nutrition snacks are more beneficial to kids eating healthier than the school that did not do this. This includes snacking at home as well as at school. This is meant to improve middle school kids' diets, which will show them how to eat correctly throughout their life. Eating disorders are a very serious matter. The solutions to this problem are very achievable. Many middle schools have already enacted parts of the solution with their kids already. It is just a matter of wanting to stop the problem and defeat eating disorders altogether.